some of those just plain scary. And guys, we saw a lot of them. Now we're about to see some great dunkers here tonight. Here's our contestants. The Vegas.com Slam Dunk Championship. Jermaine Taylor, UCF. Tyrone Cannon, Toledo. Wes Matthews of Marquette. Tony Dandridge of New Mexico. Terry Evans, the third of Wisconsin Green Bay. Charlie Coley, the third of North Carolina Charlotte. And teammates, Micah Downs and Jeremy Pargo, both from Gonzaga. Here's your rules. Eight competitors judging based on a 10-point scale. We got five judges. You'll meet them in a second. First round, two dunks, 30 seconds each. Two scores are averaged together. In the semifinals, you got a half minute to do one dunk. The final, you got a minute to do whatever you want to get one dunk to go. If no dunks executed in the allowed uh, the allowed time, player forfeits his dunk. Here's our judges from the Detroit Lions, two-time All-American, one of the best to ever play at Georgia Tech, Calvin Johnson, former Michigan star, now with the Cleveland Browns, All-American with the Wolverines, Braylon Edwards. Now we need somebody to pass it to him. I know Des isn't going to do it, but Desmond Howard, Heisman Trophy winner and Super Bowl MVP, and one of our comrades on game day on ESPN is here. There's a guy that can pass it to him. Give it the rock to one of the Fab Five, Jalen Rose. He'll get it to one of the wide receivers. Jalen also one of our guys on NBA coverage and Cheryl Ford of the world champion Detroit Shock. There are five judges. First up in the Vegas.com slam dunk finals. This is a guy that Jimmy took, Jermaine Taylor, Conference USA Player of the Year. Projected as a first round draft pick in the upcoming NBA draft. 26 points per game this year, third in the NCAA. I chose him because coming out of high school, Florida and Miami wanted him as a wide receiver. Florida and Florida State wanted him in track because he was a 6'10 high jumper in high school, long jump 23 feet, triple jump 47. Very explosive. Oh, he's going with, yeah, took the jersey off prematurely. Interesting maneuver. Jermaine Taylor going to go up and get his own pass. And wow. throw it down on the reverse. There's a good start for us. <laughs> Jalen's Jalen saying nine or ten. I don't know if he's got ten fingers or nine held up, but those are his world-class hops. The vertical climbing the ladder. Good timing too on this pass. The bounce off the floor and the timing to catch and throw it home. When the pass was under pressure too, because the shot clock was winding down, and this was the one that he had to have. That's our Vegas.com slam cam from above, and Jalen immediately comes out of his chair on the first dunk of the night. Well, Jalen Rose would know with his background at Michigan with the Fab Five and in the NBA. He's seen a couple good jams over the years. Got three Michigan guys over there, a winner of the Detroit Shock, the WNBA, and then Calvin Johnson of the Lions. So we got pretty well represented with the state. Next up, Tyrone Kent from Toledo. That opening dunk is a 40. Got some great expectations for these guys. You're not kidding. Kent, a Chicago native, led the Mac in scoring last year. Whoops. That pass went and hit the back of his feet. He's still got time. He's got 12 seconds, so he doesn't have a lot of time. All important right here. And he went up and got his own pass. I don't think that's what he wanted to do, but nonetheless, he got the dunk in, and that's the important thing. First time he dunked, he was in the seventh grade. Says Carmelo Anthony and Brandon Roy, the guys that he patterns himself after. The pass so important. If it's a bad pass, you're cooked. Uh, if he'd have kicked that back over his head and jammed it, we'd have had we'd a had something. We yeah. had a 50. <laughs> now that would be impressive. <laughs> 32 and a half for Tyrone. Now for Marquette, familiar name. Not only from yesteryear, but for Marquette, Wesley Matthews, whose dad, Wes. Nine years in the NBA, his mom a great athlete at the University of Wisconsin, so he's got the bloodlines. He's going to the corner for his first dunk. Oh! I didn't know if he could catch it. Guess he knew what he was doing. He made it look so easy. A very explosive athlete. Almost 550 career-made free throws. There's his coach, Buzz Williams. And Marquette tells you that he's all about attacking the rim. The pass is right on target, on time, and he meets it up top. Good start for Wes Matthews. 
But you always say, Jimmy Joe, on time and on target. Usually you're not passing it to yourself, though, and his coach says, that's my guy. Yeah. So we saw Wesley Matthews do that a couple times this year, and an impressive NCAA tournament as well for Matthews, putting up big numbers. 46 for Wes. Good first round. Tony Dandridge, first team, all Mountain West. 6-5 from New Mexico. Already I have an issue with the judges, giving my guy 40 points right off the bat. <laughs> that was a smooth looking dunk. Sometimes they look so easy that you're defeating your own purpose. That's a great observation, Brad. The ease, the smoothness in this delivery. The guy that battled back his senior year after redshirting two years ago because of a broken leg, but has great, great explosiveness. Over 200 free throw attempts this year tells you also he's very comfortable attacking the rim. His coach Steve Alford's in the house, representing as well the Lobos. Tony Dandridge from the Lobos, 45 and a half. Good first dunk. Well, our dunkers are just getting started. Still to come, Lab's favorite, Jeremy Pargo of Gonzaga, as well as my pick. Charlie Coley the third of North Carolina Charlotte. Stick around.